Hi, this is Pete from FMI Enterprises. I'm an auto dealer here in Southern California, and today I have for you a 1978 Porsche 911 SC Targa. The car has 160,000 miles on the odometer. It is a running and driving car. It's not perfect. Uh, the paint has been redone. It was changed from petrol blue. Color code was 376 petrol blue. Um, it was changed to this guards red current paint job it has. It's an older paint job. It's got a lot of nicks, um, tiny scratches and whatnot, little things around the car. But it is glossy. It does look good from 10 feet. Gets compliments, all the normal stuff, but uh, not perfect. It does have a uh, turbo wing on it, and this is an authentic real turbo wing, uh, Porsche wing from a turbo car and it's even got the um, the uh, little radiator up top there the cooler for the turbo um, however it's not a turbo it's got a three liter uh, SC engine in it it um, does start run drive um, so anyway let's talk about the paint and the body first the car doesn't have any rust on it it's a straight car <clears throat> Like I said, it's got a lot of uh, little nicks on the paint, the front bumper. As you can see, it's got some overspray on the, uh, the little lip here. Um, but, you know, it's pretty much complete. You can see it's got some fog lights on it. Um, it's got the lower lip. While I'm down here, you can see the car is as dry as a bone rust free all the way front to back and the floor pans nice and dry car um, anyway continuing on with the paint in the body um, the hood as you can see is got a little chip there a couple little chips some little tiny little rock nicks here and there but it is glossy it does look good from a few feet away it's got a little ding right there in it <clears throat> uh, front left fender got a little mark right there um, it's like somebody did a little bit of sanding there I don't know what happened but it doesn't look like it was painted from the from this red paint job it's got some little bit of Overspray, not overspray, but I don't know. It's just not a perfect paint job. The only spot of rust in this car is this little bubble right here that you see. Um, it's got a couple little marks right there and on the other side, so I'm guessing the hood may have blown up at one time. The hood does open and close fine, so um, there's that. All the trim around the windshield, around the, the doors, whatnot. All looks pretty good. Looks original, original seals. You can see this one's pretty much shot, <clears throat> cracking. Um, target top just rebuilt. It's got new burlap on the inside. Came out pretty nice. It folds up good. It works like it should. The, the uh, roll bar, original, looks good. The rear window looks good. Um, continuing on with the paint, the door looks pretty fair. Doesn't look perfect, but I think it looks not so bad. Um, don't mean to be so hard on the car, but I'm just trying to be picky. Um, the left rear quarter, it's got a little, little spider right there. And these are the original fenders. I don't mean it's the paint, it's just, it's just a, not a great paint job. And it's just an older paint paint job this looks like original paint on the uh, on the wing however um, the right rear fender here it's got a little small little ding right there <clears throat> um, the rest of it looks pretty straight the door has some checking going on on the top body of the body is actually pretty decent got a little chipping on the inside of the door handle I don't know how that would happen but it did a um, little bit more checking right there 
I have the mirror. Um, it fell off. It goes on. It goes right on there. It just needs to be reinstalled. I didn't have the time to do it. Fender, right front fender looks good. Um, so there's the paint in the body. Probably about uh, 6.5 out of a 10. I mean, it looks fairly presentable. I don't want to say it looks terrible because it, you know, from 5 feet, 10 feet, it looks pretty good. But it's just not perfect. And I think in the pictures, it's going to look a lot better than it really is. So I'm just trying to be pretty clear. I mean, if you looked at this car walking by, you would think, wow, it's that, it's that type of a car. Anyway, um, the wheels, you've got the original Porsche wheels with, um, looks like near new tires, pretty much brand new tires in the rear, Fusion in the rear. The wheels are um, <clears throat> original. They, um, you can see they could use a good polishing on the outside, but they're there, not perfect. Front tires are pretty low, probably about 20% 20, 20 in the front, not perfect. Um, since I'm down here once more, you can see the uh, pan, it's nice and dry. Front to back, oil return lines, I believe those are. Torsion bars are nice and dry. Cars dry all around, so rust is not an issue with this car at all. <clears throat> the the uh, Porsche reflector in the back looks really nice. The tail lenses look pretty decent. They're not all cracked up. A little bit of right there. And uh, so I think that covers the exterior of the car. Windshield's in pretty good shape. There's no cracks in the windshield. So let's talk about the interior. Um, interior is pretty much all original. You can see the uh, seats <coughs> look fairly decent. They're comfortable. Um, the material's in good shape. No holes in the <clears throat> in the material on both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Carpeting, original carpeting, or maybe replaced. I don't know, but it looks definitely an original carpet kit, and it looks very nice. Very nice carpet kit. The uh, release up here does not work on this seat, but uh, it does roll forward there. I think the, uh, the little release is right here. It may have just fallen out of its uh, receptor down there. Anyway, the rear seats look excellent. This, the rear seating area looks very good. The door panels look, look good. On top of the seats, the carpeting looks very nice. You can see it's got some uh, Speakers on the rear speaker shelf there. The headliner, the new headliner, and the target top was redone. And um, the target top actually comes off, folds down real nice, and closes. And you can see the visors are original. <clears throat> so that's the rear seating area. You can see the uh, door jam area here. It's got all the stickers on it. There's the VIN sticker 1077. The car was built in. Um, got the trim sticker right there. And that's where I got the uh, color code 376 petrol blue, which is right here. That's the color, which is a pretty cool color, I think. The door panels both look pretty nice. Um, I was going to run down and get some speakers and put them on there, but I didn't have time. kind of looks bad hanging out there without the speakers to cover it up, at least. 
the radio is an old school Alpine. It actually works. <clears throat> it's a CD player. It works, believe it or not. Um, all the gauges are working. The horn works. The signals work. The headlights work. It comes with one key right here. And uh, got all the air conditioning controls down here. <clears throat> AC does not work. The uh, compressor, I think, is not present, but we'll double check that. Carpeting underneath the floor mat here is very nice. No rips or tears in it. Works very good. The e brake works good. Uh, the seat belts are all there. Here's the mirror I was talking about with the hardware in the back. It just needs to be snapped on there. Door panel over here looks very nice. The door jam here, it's good shape. The doors actually click open. I mean, they they hit the little they stay open. The driver's one makes it even makes the little noise when it opens. So it doesn't. It means it's not completely worn out, is what I'm trying to say. So this seat folds, folds forward, no problem there. Nice and clean in the back of the seats. <coughs> the glove box, in pretty good shape. It's got the uh, original owner's manuals here, 1978 911 SC. Couple things in the glove box, Some light bulbs. And, uh, Trunk area. So I've got some uh, floor mats for the rear here. I just took those out. Um, but you can see in here, pretty clean. I don't see any signs of damage at all to the metal. The metal all looks really nice in the nose. It's got a new battery. Um, got a tire iron in there. No rust in the nose or under the battery. I've got photos of it, so you can take a look at that. Um, I did have to take out um, one of the fuses for the uh, for the uh, courtesy light, the overhead light. It was having a small, making a small drain, so I mean, there's going to be a short somewhere probably inside here, nice and clean. And it will need new struts to hold this open. Um, the uh, the latch works good, but it doesn't line up perfectly with the uh, the hitch down there. Uh, so you sort of have to be careful. Hold it back when you close it. It probably just needs to be aligned or even replaced. I don't know if it if it got bent a little bit, but uh, not such a big deal. Just have to be careful with it. It's an old car. Latch is shut, and it opens with the uh, the pole up front, <clears throat> the engine. It's going to start up right now. I'll show you how it runs. So it's got a uh, it idles very high. Um, see all the gauges. I'm not sure if the clock works. Um, engine runs. It runs good. I think the engine's in good shape. Um, you can't adjust the idle any lower than this. So something with the uh, idle adjust screw needs to be dealt with here. Uh, you can see the uh, AC compressor lines are not attached to anything, meaning that uh, it doesn't have a compressor. But 
The engine does run good. Take it for a ride. So, it just wants to idle high like this. And you can kick it down, it will, it will idle lower. But uh, this is where it likes to idle. And you, you can't adjust it down any, any lower. So anyway, take a ride. Transmission shifts really nice. No problems with the transmission. Goes into gear good. I get no grinds or no popping out in any of the gears. I said the lights and the signals work on the car the brakes feel good Brake has a really good brake pedal, stops pretty good. Um, what else? Uh, the horn works. It, uh, like I said, the radio does work. Um, the dash is like a plastic dash cap here. Um, when this car sits for a while, it'll blow some white smoke when you first start it up. And I believe that has to do um, with the uh, with the mixture and the uh, whatever is causing the idle to be idling high. So it will need some, some work. Um, you know, mechanically, I, you know, I'm not going to say the car, you want to get in this car and drive it home from New York or anything, or drive it home to New York from California. Um, you know, it's going to need that idle problem is going to need to be, uh, dealt with for sure. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. It idles, it idles high, and then when you start it up after it sits, it'll blow some light smoke for I don't know if, uh, a minute or so, and then it goes away. Um, so yeah, it'll need to be, it'll need to be, it'll need some TLC, um, you know. But I think it's a good rust-free car. It's got some, you know, a lot of potential. It's a good looking 1978 911 SC. So, I hope I uh, did it justice and called it like it is. And if you have any questions, give me a call. I have a, a clear title, um, you know, ready to be transferred. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.